hello, today I'm going to be reviewing Doctor Who Series 10, Episode 1, The Pilot. So, the big question, Bill, the new companion. I like her. To start off, I really didn't think I was going to like her. And when I did the trailer analysis, I said, the character I'm probably going to annoy. Um, and she wasn't annoying, she seemed far better right now than Amy Pond and Clara Oswald because they were the worst people ever they, they just excruci excruciating to watch them too and oh they were shocking also uh, Nardole comes back um, and to be honest he is he's funny um, admittedly and he's definitely better than he was in the Husband's River Song Christmas special back in, in 2015. Uh, far less annoying. And I think he is better than he was in The Return of Doctor Mysterio. Um, so, yeah, I think those characters are really good in this episode. Uh, now we'll talk about The Doctor. He, he still seems like the uh, the 2015 one, um, but he is far less, like, uh, I don't know how to describe him in that series. All I'm going to say is, he was much better than he was in Series 9, because in Series 9, he was basically going through a midlife crisis, and it was shocking. That That was a horrible, horrible thing. To do to the Twelfth Doctor, and now he has to stick with that, which is a little bit of a shame, but maybe if he did have some development, which I'm just going to pretend he did, maybe I could accept him being a nicer character, much like Colin Baker developing, developing over time into a far nicer character by the time he dies. So basically, the story is, the Doctor thinks Bill is interesting, because she doesn't well, she isn't a student at this university where he teaches, for some reason. I'll get to that later. Um, and, uh, basically, she... Well, he, he just sounded... He, well, he was interested in her because she smiled. That, that, that doesn't sound right. But it kind of makes sense, because no one else looks like they're enjoying it, even though she says people this. And that's why she goes. She's also a lesbian, which honestly wasn't addressed, and it didn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, I'm not homophobic, and I don't have a problem with it. I was just worried that um, they would just constantly keep pointing it out, and then it would just look absolutely ridiculous. Um, and they didn't even point it out. It was just something, oh, she's like that. All right, much better. And if it was like that, uh, without being announced, it would have been much better, because then you would just keep ex because I just kept expecting it to pop up, it's just like, oh, you're interested in boys, Bill? No, I'm a lesbian, like that, and it'd just be absolutely ridiculous. Also, the monster in this story, it's it's good, but it isn't really explained, it's, it's, like, it's origins really, really well, like, it, it's space oil, uh, copies, um, uh, whoever looks in the puddle, and uh, the the reason uh, uh, Bill's girlfriend no girl they don't really they they, they just kind of talk to each other a little. There's not really that much of a bond, but I I suppose that's what they are. But anyway, um, yeah the uh, she notices it because whenever you look in a mirror, your face is the other way round, and she notices that really well because she's got a star in her eye, which I don't know whoever found out that she had a star in her eye and then leaked it. That that is so weird. That is the weirdest thing ever because it was called the pilot. Yeah, the star in her eye thing is a key point to the whole plot and that was the rumoured name of the first episode which is this but I don't know I just thought that was really really weird that someone found that out yeah it's, it's a bit strange 
but yeah, the space oil alien is a bit like the flood from the waters of Mars, um, but not as cool. Um, it's a bit like the T-1000 from Terminator 2 and that thing from the abyss. Um, um, and uh, it's it's quite a strange thing because it's, it's weird. I don't know, they didn't really do a very good job of explaining it. Like, what's the oil called? Who left it there? Surely that's going to be a problem. What if they were aliens? Which they are. But yeah, you'd think you'd worry about it, wouldn't you? But he doesn't. That's weird. On the topic of monsters, the Daleks are in it for about five minutes to be destroyed. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're not a threat yet again. A little disappointed, though they are seen with the Mavellans from Destiny of the Daleks of all things to come back. And I don't really think it makes sense because they're, the, the Mavellan Dalek War ended uh, back when Pierre Davison was the Doctor, or just before that. And uh, it's kind of strange because either I want to see a story where they explain why they're fighting again because I'm pretty sure they were wiped out. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to do, and I, I don't know why. It's it's a bit silly. Um, also, um, what else is there? There's the 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 gate door thing. In, in the university cellar, which the Doctor completely forgets about at the end of the episode. And, and he spent doing something to it with the sonic screwdriver. Um, and it doesn't really explain... I don't know, it's the kind of thing he forgot about it. And that kind of confuses me, because it doesn't... I mean, I know he was kind of just going, Ah, the hell with it. We'll go in space, because it's Doctor Who. And when it's on Earth, it's slightly more boring. But, it's, I don't know, I mean, maybe it didn't really matter. I, I'm not sure, but it'll definitely be coming back in following episodes in the series. The effects in the story are actually quite good uh, for the, uh, the water oil monster thing. Uh, that, that looks quite impressive. I mean, definitely not amazing, and sometimes it can look a bit ropey. But most of the time it does look good. But the bit with the uh, CGI plants on the, the other planet looks absolutely atrocious. And they could have just had some strange plastic plants that they spray painted grey. And uh, it would have been much better. Or you could have just had nothing. And it wouldn't have taken away or added to the scene in the slightest. It just would have been the same scene. But now we've got it with stupid CGI plants in the final version. It was also in the trailer, but I don't think it was in the first trailer for series 10. Um, but I think this is probably the best season opener we've had since the 11th hour, which was seven years ago, uh, back when Matt Smith started doing Doctor Who. Because um, the rest of them were absolutely shocking, some of them. Deep Breath was alright, but the witches... No, The Magician's Apprentice was pretty poor. Uh, so was The Bells of St. John and Asylum of the Daleks. Um, the Impossible Astronaut was, I don't know, definitely not my favourite in the slightest. Because that was when Matt Smith started to become really annoying. Um, and the whole big plot thing, which I still kind of don't get, which was a horrible thing in Series 6. And it was oh, shocking. But, great episode, I'm looking forward to see uh, uh, more from The Companion, but just to finish up, I want to talk about the trailer um, and the next episode at the end of the episode, uh, for the trailer, for both the follow- uh, basically it starts with the trailer for the next episode, Smile, which is about emoji robots, which a lot of people uh, I've spoke to about it, don't really seem too keen on, and I hate emojis as much as the next guy, but the episode doesn't actually look too bad, if you ask me, and um, I'm look actually quite excited for it, um, and um, I also uh, think, now, the coming soon trailer, straight after that, is definitely questionable, because 
the reveal of John Sim coming back as the master, which might be a double master story at this rate, because uh, we've got Missy and stuff, uh, which will be cool if they hadn't bloody well announced it. It just kills like the, the the absolute shock of him coming back, um, and I think that was a mistake because I think they've been revealing slightly like too much of the series to the like, the public and stuff. And I mean, like, when the bloody mirror gets things right, you know, someone's wrong. <laughs> but the, the trailer does look interesting. Uh, the Ice Warriors are back. I kind of forgot about that because uh, they didn't really show much of the Ice Warriors. I, I love the Ice Warriors. Can't wait to see them again. Also the Mondaysi and Cybermen, uh, the classic series ones. And I think the Cybus ones might be there in the background because they were seen... Uh, filming stuff with them back in like I don't know January or February, um, but I think it will be a really good season because St it's Stephen Moffat and Peter Capaldi's last, so you know they they will want it to not suck, and and that's the overall goal, isn't it? <laughs> not to suck. Um, uh, so um, I'll see you when I review Smile um, whenever I can. Uh, so, yeah, bye.